So tell me if you've heard this one before, because I think you probably have, and it's that Disney is canceling Star Wars. And this time, I believe it. Not only do we have a solid rumor here that seems to be backed up by recent events and, you know, the obvious direction that Disney is going to take Star Wars, which isn't forward, especially since it sounds like they're going to do all kinds of things in the theme parks and everything else. It sounds like Disney's going to turn it around. Well, or try to this time. Let's take a look at the story coming at us from That Park Place, written by John F. Trent over there. And uh, look, this time, I believe it. Rumor Lucasfilm scraps Taika Waititi's Star Wars film and Leslie Headland is completely out. Good. Uh, this is something in the right direction, I would say. I'm not sure what you would say, but this is one of those stories where finally it's more than a little bit believable. And, you know, whether or not you like the Kiwi himself or not, he certainly has done a hit and miss job with any material that he's ever touched. I can imagine that he may have spent time putting a script together, but the fact that maybe they're permanently scrapping the Star Wars film is a good sign. And with Headland permanently out, I would say that makes an awful lot of sense as well. This rumor comes from Matt, Matt McGloin over at uh, Cosmic Book News, who does great work over there. I think he's uh, usually spot on. And he reports, Conversations I have had with insiders at the recent Comic-Con have informed me that Taika Waititi is definitely not doing his Star Wars movie at Lucasfilm. Well, that's it. He adds, I was also actually told by this insider that Leslie Headland is done at Lucasfilm. Well, that makes sense as well. And what's funny about all of that is it's not only a good thing, it's probably something that should have been expected. When you go through this article, you find out that not only does Matt McGloin reporting this, but there's some other information there as well. As for why uh, Waititi is out, McGloin's insider informed him it was due to the Thor Love and Thunder, and specifically that Waititi did not actually finish the film. Really? McGloin detailed that this insider informed him that the film was a complete disaster and that Marvel gave him the boot from the movie. Hmm. You remember that little tryst where three people were involved during the course of shooting that film? I think Rita Ora was involved. Maybe. Maybe not. Furthermore, McGloin explained, I was also told Watiti didn't finish the reshoots and the final cut of the film. Wow. He speculates that Marvel finished the film themselves rather than bringing in a new director, which, as bad as that film was, I can actually believe. McGloin then declared, My insiders have said as a result that Taika Watiti is out at Lucasfilm and not doing his Star Wars movie. Well, bad experience in one place yields a bad experience elsewhere, I guess. Wild stuff. Uh, what he did admit during an appearance on the Smartless podcast in November of 2023 that the only reason he made the Thor movies was for the paycheck. Well, I was sure it was pretty nice. He also said he had I had no interest in doing those films. I wasn't uh, wasn't on my plan for my career as an auteur. Wow, sounds a little douchey to me. But I was poor and I just had a second child and I thought, you know what? This would be a great opportunity to feed these children. And well, I guess it was. So they call and they said, do you want to do this? And Thor, let's face it, it was probably the least popular franchise. Um, no. I never read Thor comics as a kid. That was a comics I'd pick up and be like, ugh. And then I did some research on it, and I read one full comic, or 18 pages, or however long they are. I was still baffled by this character. I thought that if there was anything I could bring, it was character. Just like looking at Thor as a character, he's a billionaire who lives in space, and he looks ridiculous. And that was sort of the end of it. So I was like, let's highlight that. He's a rich kid. I pitched that he's a bit like you and me, Jason, that... He hates germs. Wow. He also told B Business Insider that he would no longer be involved with the franchise while promoting his film Next Goal Wins in November of 2023. I actually remember that. 
Watiti said, I know that I won't be involved. I'm going to concentrate on these other films I've signed on for. Interestingly, he did indicate he was still working on a Star Wars film at the time. It's still marinating. I've been writing it. Okay, then. Watiti's Star Wars film was originally announced in, on May 4th of 2020. May the 4th be with you, even though that's not really Star Wars Day. Um, that was on the official Star Wars website. Then the company stated Academy Award winner Taika Waititi, who recently won Best Adapted Screenplay for Jojo Rabbit and directed the widely acclaimed first season finale episode of The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, will direct and co-write a new Star Wars feature film for theatrical release. The site added, joining with TT on the screenplay will be Academy Award nominee Christy wilson Carnes, 1917 and Last Night in Soho, who received a BAFTA Award for Outstanding British Film of the Year on the three-time Oscar-winning film 1917. During the same year, he also told the Times that I'm going to write Star Wars uh, idea at the moment. I've got to see how that goes, because once I submit it, that will determine when it gets made or if it even gets made, even. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm cool as well to take six months off and just hang out with my kids, which I'm sure they would appreciate. Maybe you should just continue to do that. Deadline asked him about it in 2023. Speaking of different environments, Taika, there's a lot of talk about you working on it, and now it's writing and perhaps starring in a Star Wars movie. And he responded, eh. That rumor is about three years old. All I'll say is, God forbid, I make a Star Wars film about people sitting on mountains playing flutes. Wow. Doesn't look like he's doing that. He told The Hollywood Reporter, also in 2023, I've got a really good idea for it. It's just, as with all films, it's the middle part. You're like, what's going to happen and then you look at all those films that are so great, and you're like, well, I guess they can't meet some smuggler with an alien sidekick. Why not, if you write it? Well, anyway, look, this is just proof that this is not going to happen. But it also indicates a lot of things that I've heard that are happening inside of Disney Star Wars right now. That these films just aren't going to get done, including perhaps even the da Daisy Ridley follow-up film, uh, Episode 10 because I don't think there's any passion or any love for it. I don't think anybody out there is looking forward to it. And you know what? I don't blame them. But I'll put it to you. With all these rumors going around, including one that they're going to make significant changes to Galaxy's Edge or quote-unquote Black Rock Spire and other things in the Star Wars universe and just kind of ditch out on some of the ideas that they had, much like they're trying to do with Marvel right now, is this more than a little believable that they're going to kill off what they created in order to find the right path forward and try again? Or are they going to put it on a shelf this time and leave it alone? Is Darth Kennedy out as rumored? Or is she still sticking around until she has that one win that she can hang her hat on proverbially? I don't know. Your thoughts are as good as mine, so why not answer my questions down in the comment section below? And, uh, you know, while you're down there, hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you wouldn't mind, uh, double check that you're still subscribed. And if you're one of the 68.5% of people that watch my material and are not subscribed, take this time to just click that little red button, turn it to gray. It's absolutely free, and it'll get me well beyond 25K, which we just magically hit. And I uh, can't wait for that celebration at the end of the month. And of course, we've got lots of other things coming up. At least one video a day, at least one live stream a day, and oftentimes far more than that. On that note, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.